Merry Christmas. It is the December 23rd, 2019 edition of Monday Night Raw. And this show was taped one week ago from last week's venue in Des Moines, Iowa. Of course, they taped uh, last week's show, then this show. Um, so two weeks in a row from the home state of Seth Rollins. You had a show that they... It was a Christmas edition. Basically, they had the Christmas tree set up on the stage, which uh, always looks really cool. I like that. I like how they always have a holiday edition of a show. I think it's necessary to be honest. I think it's fun. Um, and, of course, you do get a Miracle on 34th Street fight. This is the second one they uh, they, they did on uh, SmackDown last Friday. And SmackDown's actually going to be live uh, this Friday in Detroit on the 27th. But here on uh, Raw, you have a tape show. So Kevin Owens comes out. He's talking trash. He's uh, calling out Rollins. It's in uh, Iowa. And what happens is he starts off, though, with a match with Mojo Rawley in a Miracle 34 Street Fight. Okay match up here. Uh, you got some weapons. Owens gets some wins. As we know, he'd win. Mojo's kind of someone who probably should be released, to be honest. I can see Mojo asking for his release. Uh, Mojo's a kind of guy in which... He's really not that bad of a worker. Um, it's in a situation, however, when you look at him, there's just, I don't think Vince sees much in him. I don't see it either, but when he was a babyface, there was something to him in NXT. He was a fun-loving guy. He he was a fun wrestler to watch. It just With the roster right now, I don't see someone with as Mojo being able to push to the top. I think Mojo would be better served. For his career, wrestling somewhere else. But Kevin Owens gets the win in the Miracle Street Fight. After a match, he calls out Seth Rollins. However, the AOP comes out. They beat him up. Authors with the beatdown of uh, Owens with weapons. After the street fight, they lay him out. And uh, that's how it ends. So, sets up that segment. And I don't know what they're going to do with the Royal Rumble. I guess they could do Owens and Rollins in a singles match. Then they both uh, are in the Rumble later in the show. Or, I think they just, uh, you know, they're both going to be in the Rumble, but I don't know uh, what they're going to do. I mean, actually, to be honest, the Rumble is so far away. Like, no one's even talking about it. You still have, like, four weeks to tell. Like, you can just tell, I'll blow off the feud in the next few weeks, to be honest. But, um, that's how that ended. Lashley comes out with uh, Lana. Lana's wearing a very re- uh, revealing dress. Uh, looks really good, obviously. So, he's... Uh, facing Cedric Alexander, and they officially announce that Bobby Lashley and Lana are going to get buried next week, and that's going to be on the 30th. And I think that's a live show, pretty sure. And what you have on that show is going to be interesting because with this whole marriage, um, they're going to do something where Rusev gets involved, but they're actually going to have a wedding. And I like that. We never get weddings anymore. I love that. they. I love old wedding sets. You know, my favorite one was uh, when uh, I think they had Billy and Chuck get married. And that was actually a gay wedding. But they got married. And, of course, it was all a sneak attack. Eric Bischoff was dressed up as a pastor. And uh, they attacked Stephanie. And a three-minute warning came out. Just one of the craziest segments. That was the best one. There was Kane and Lita had one, I think. Um, actually, I think it was Kane. It was actually Matt and Lita. And Kane came in. Uh, uh, Edge and Lita had one. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch. Triple H and Stephanie, um, uh, Daniel Bryan and AJ Lee later, uh, they had one, so they're usually entertaining, but you get it next week. So next you had, uh, Lashley, Ben Cedric Alexander, of course, beats him cleanly and that was it. Next you had another match that kind of doesn't mean much. Zack Ryder came out and he faced Drew McIntyre, McIntyre with the win here. Uh, no surprise there. Ryder is just someone who's there. I don't see him uh, doing much there. I think Ryder is someone who, you know, is just an enhancement talent. McIntyre with the win. And McIntyre, they were going to give a monster push to last year. This year, I don't see it have, happening. I don't think they really view him as much. I never really viewed him as much. He's just not a big star. He doesn't have any personality. He has a great look. He's not too bad in the ring. It's just he has no personality. And he's a boring wrestler to watch. He still is. So, Becky Lynch comes out. And it's pretty much set up for her and Asuka at the Royal Rumble. This is a rematch of last year in which Asuka defeated Becky Lynch cleanly in the middle of the ring for the SmackDown win sale. Now, this year, uh, they're in another baseball stadium. Last year was Phoenix. This is Houston. And they're going to face for the Raw women's title. And Becky is the champion this time. She defends against Asuka. 
this is a big match for Becky. It gets, gets her win back. She's obviously going to beat Asuka. And they have a back and forth. Asuka comes out. And Kyrie sent a little injury update on her. But, man, I, I, I don't know. I kind of... I remember looking back, seeing some of the highlights. She was so out of it, and Charlotte messed up, man. Charlotte looked angry at her, and she like power bombs her through, uh, to hell through that table. Man, that uh, that was really unfortunate what happened to Kyrie Sane. But Becky and Oscar have a long uh, segment. They, just, they really want to hype this matchup. But it's a big match for Becky. Becky's going to go all out to promote it. It's her and Oscar Royal Rumble. Uh, big match, and... Um, should be a great match. They had a very good match last year. I expect another really good one this year. Probably even better. Because it's the, it would be a bigger match. Because Asuka beat Becky cleanly last year. So, uh, big match is set up. The Root of All Evil. Alistair Black comes out. And he faces some random jobber. Um, some local guy. Some Iowa scrub. He beats him quickly with the Black Mask. One, two, three. And after that, you had Buddy Murphy. And he would face another guy. Um, he is some guy, another jobber, I forget his name. He beats him cleanly. And then, finally, Alistair Black and Buddy Murphy set up their match. He had squash match, which was not a bad way to set up a match. And they set up a big showdown next week. Um, and that's going to be on the 30th. And I think that's, I'm not sure if it's taped. I hope not. I'd rather watch it live. It's on New Year's, uh, not Eve, uh, the day before Eve on the 30th. So, it's not really, it's not on either day. It could work, actually. Um, that's how you have set up. And, uh... Black and Murphy set up for next week, even though Black beat Murphy on TLC. Get another match. I think Black wins again, obviously. Next, you had Tony Nish against Ricochet. Ricochet's very talented, one of the best workers in the company. He gets the win here, no surprise. Um, we'll see what they do with him. He's just too small. for. I don't think they'll push him past a certain level because of his size, but he is so talented. Maybe Vince sees something in him. And Vince has pushed small guys in the past, so maybe, but uh, he gets the win here. Next, you had Chelsea Green come out, who I like. I like Chelsea Green. Uh, I think, wasn't she dating Zack Ryder for I don't know if she still is, but she was for a while, if I'm not mistaken. And she was on Tough Enough, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure Chelsea was. I think Chelsea was on Team Tough Enough with Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Anyway, she faces Charlotte Flair, and Charlotte's out. Uh, we know who's winning here, Charlotte. Uh, beats Chelsea last week uh, was, uh, I believe, who was uh, Deanna Prezazzo. Uh, she was on last week. This week's Chelsea Green. And Chelsea's not not going to be a big star probably. But yeah, it's nice to see her on the main roster. She does get a spot on Raw. Charlotte Fleur, however, beats Chelsea Green cleanly. Figure 8. Win for Charlotte. Up next, you had a six-man tag team match. You have the OC. AJ Styles, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson going up against Randy Orton and the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Viking Great Warriors. The Viking Warriors, the Viking Raiders. Are they called the Warriors now? I don't even know what they're calling them anymore. So here it says Warriors. Could be a typo. Okay. The Viking Raiders, two football teams. Viking Warriors, a football team and a basketball team. That sounds better. What about the Raiders, Vikings, uh, Saints, Dolphins, Seahawks, Patriots, Eagles, Vikings, Ravens. Bills, Steelers, Cowboys, Packers. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I hate that fucking name. I'm sorry. I fucking hate it. I, it's been since WrestleMania. And I'm still bitching about it. I'm sorry. But I fucking hate it. By the way, Viking Raiders. Oh, you know the Minnesota Vikings are playing right now? Not a good idea to have them. They're playing the Packers. Hmm. Maybe it's not a good idea, WWE. But anyway, uh, this is done to set up Gals and Anderson having a big match against the Viking Warriors, probably at the Royal Rumble. Uh, they get another win over them. They had the double uh, DQ or double count out at a uh, TLC in which the Raiders come through the KFC table. But uh, Gals Anderson with the win that sets up a match later. Next, you had Eric Rowan in this stupid fucking cage come out. His little bat cage, his little uh, animal cage. He comes out. Kills and an, uh, some jobber. It's like three squash matches on a fucking show with some jobbers. Chelsea Green doesn't count, but the other three are like three unknowns. And before, you know, we saw interviews with him. Uh, was it Charlie Caruso or was it uh, Sarah Squeaver? One of those chicks. Uh, one of them interviewed him. Um, uh, it wasn't him. We saw some interviews. I don't know. We saw a lot. Uh, and it, it's taped, so I guess they can do it better than it was live. But... Uh, 
yeah, run with the win. So next, I uh, had Rusev against Noe Jose. Rusev kills Noe Jose, quick squash match. Uh, Noe Jose's a jobber, and then after the match, Rusev cuts a promo and he told Lana and Lashley they deserve each other. So it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, Rusev's such a creative guy. I know this whole thing is him and uh, Lashley and Lana. Um, like this whole thing's his storyline. It's his idea. I wouldn't surprise me if he has something big planned up for the wedding. It'll probably be the past. Or I don't know. He'll do something. He's interfering in a wedding. It has to happen. Rusev destroys the wedding. And um, that's how it's going to end. Uh, but he defeats Noe Jose. Now, main events. The WWE United States Champion, Rey Mysterio, faces Seth Rollins. Good match up here. They're doing well here. Entertaining. Goes back and forth. Uh, both these guys are very, very talented. This is the, the last show before Christmas, so I think they wanted to go out. This is Rollins' hometown, so it's a tough environment for Ray. Rollins isn't good here, but um, the AOP interferes and calls a DQ. So what happens is uh, Ray with the DQ win. However, they attack them. Uh, Samoa Joe, and they're about to put, the AOP is about to put Rimstro through the table, but then Samoa Joe gets up from the announcer booth and he stops it. However, the AOP beats down Samoa Joe kicks his ass, and then Seth Rollins hits the curb stomp on Rey Mysterio. So they have a lot of directions to go. I really want to see Joe Samoa Joe me on commentary. I like him. I love him as a wrestler, but, you know, he's in his 40s now. I think his time's passed. I'd like, you know, he can do an angle with them, but I'd like to see him in a com- in the commentator role. I hope his commentator is not there just to set up a return to the ring, but I would personally prefer that. Um, it was a good uh, segment to end. You know, Rollins gets the heat. He gets the heat in his hometown. Or his home state, actually. I don't know where he's actually from. But um, that was it. That was Raw on uh, the 23rd. Decent show. I thought it was okay. Uh, not not a hard show to watch. And uh, we'll see what happens next week. We have the big wedding. And uh, next week's show will be the final Raw of 2019. And the final Raw of the decade. <laughs>